Hello Hammerheads As you can probably gather I've just recovered from a little power nap or a snooze, whatever you want to call it But anyway You know what I want to talk about Hammerheads is um, Benefit sheets, right? Yeah I mean My estimation, right, by my estimation, I reckon there's a very small minority, a little handful of them in this country. Yeah, yeah. We all think, like, well, no, because we're always reading about them in the paper. But them's the only ones that get, you know, they're, they're like, they're the big stars, them. I mean, there's only a few of them. When you compare it to the tax invaders, you know, the rich bankers and all that, the Tory brown noses and stuff, mm, the lion twats, yep. Well, I'm, I'm all for government reforms, right? When they are correct when they make sense and when they actually mean something and when they actually go towards changing things but no this government they haven't got a clue about stuff like that um, they're attacking the disabled now at an alarming rate it's like Jesus wept I mean, in one of my earlier videos, I did mention a bloke that, that he actually had a fatal heart attack because of Cameron's new policies. But I'm not going to talk about that again because, you know, I'd, <laughs> hopefully I'm not one of them repetitive type of people. But, you know... It's wrong what they're doing. It's immoral. It's it's discrimination. Full stop. That's what it is. I mean, ah, uh, I me mean, right. Fucking me. I remember years ago, under conservative, me and me mother went to the bloody way Sunderland's that way. Went to the bloody um, civic centre, I went with her. And she had to like pretend wearing this collar all the way there, right? Like, a, you know, one of them daft collars. You know, she was ooh, staggering around and all that. I mean, she was as fit as a fiddle. I mean, she was fiddling. I mean, I've fiddled in the past myself, but I did it to survive. I didn't do it to like, take the bloody piss like a lot of people do. You know what I mean? And a lot of people do. I know people on this estate who were fiddling the hell out of fucking the government. You know, they benefit cheats and that. Oh, aye. They don't give a fuck. They're not even frightened of being caught. Because if they get caught, they get a suspended prison sentence. Or, like, get, they'll be made to do 50 hours community service work or something like that. They'll not get locked up. They'll not get... <laughs> this country has lost all sense of, like, well, at the moment, everything. But one thing that sticks in my mind at the moment is bloody punishment. I mean, punishment, is it a, a wrong thing, is it a right thing? I don't know. Because you're inflicting upon somebody who's inflicted upon somebody else the same kind of thing. Predicament, if you like. Not so much in this country, but, you know, laws like that exist in America. Well, all over the world, apart from here. Maybe it's not Sweden, I don't know. There are some more liberal countries in England, but at least if you murder somebody say in like Sweden, you'll get you'll get a fucking life sentence. You know what I mean? Canada's 
pretty liberal. You murder somebody over there, you're guaranteed to go to jail till you die. And that's it. End of your life. But England, the law seems to be getting softer and softer and softer. Anyway, what the hell? I'm supposed to be talking about benefit sheets here. Benefit sheets, right? There's not that many of them about. Yes, I know some and I don't know them personally, but there's people, I mean, I come home from work sometimes, right? And right, um, there's a flat at the end of this street, right? They're all sat in it, having barbecues and that, and fucking drinking beer and all that. And I'm just like, you know, I've just finished work. I'm on the way at a shop, right, to Mal's. To get myself some beer. Because <laughs> I'm jealous. Because I'm walking past their fucking flat. And they're sat in the, bar in the garden have a bloody barbecue. Drinking shed loads of bloody beer and that. So, way well, I'm on the way to the shop for my paper. Way well, I might as well get some Holston pills. Why the bloody hell not? Oh, mind you. We'll stay in the fridge till Wednesday. Then I might have a few drinks, you know what I mean? But people like that, there could be benefit cheats. I mean, I could be wrong, but come on. People with loads of money normally are on benefit cheats. Good ones, anyway. I mean, like I say, I used to be a benefit cheat years ago, and it was. I wasn't the. You know, I was I was doing it for survival. I mean, I'm going back to the bloody eighties. I mean, we got me and this lass I was seeing at the time got caught shoplifting once. Aye, fucking bachelor's savoury rice and pot noodles and all that, just anything so I could just live until gyro day. I mean, there's nothing back then in 1986, man. Fuck all. <sighs> and guess who was running the country? Margaret Bloody Thatcher. Oh, she was brilliant there, wasn't she? Yep. Crushed industries. Trampled Britain into the fucking sea. Which is... Cameron's trying to do now. I mean, bloody John Major who took over from Thatcher. What was it? Back to basics. Back to basics. Wait, what the fucking hell is that supposed to mean? Back to basics. Get lost, man, eh? That doesn't mean a thing. How did he spend two terms in office? Major? Anyway. Oh, more tangents. Right. Benefit cheats. I've said it before. I'll say it again. There's not many of them about. And the ones that are about get caught out because they're so bloody brazen about it. And that's why they get caught. Because they don't give a fuck. They go around drinking out with all their friends, bragging about it. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, don't give a shit. Or if they get caught, they'll get a slap on the wrist. Naughty boy. You'll have to do 20 hours community service for that, you know. Mm. And if you fail to do that, we'll have to bend you over the desk and give you six of the best. Aye. That's what Britain's justice system is like nowadays. They pick on all the wrong people, man. The people who are truly criminal, you know, going out there burgling people's properties and that's what they've worked all their lives for and, you know they get off scot free but yeah if a burglar coming here I mean the first thing I'd do see that fucking axe over there right oh I I'd get done for murder though wouldn't I protecting me own why should I go out and work full time and fucking pricks like that can do what the bloody hell they want and 
and have no fear of the law. But the law being more strict, will that really work? I don't flip and think so somehow. You know why? Because look at countries like America, right? Certain states in America, like Florida, for instance, right? They've got the death penalty there, you know, a lethal injection. That's the only death penalty they have in America now. Gas chamber, electric chair, all that's abolished. <coughs> and, um, you know, you've still got nutters roaming the states of America, killing innocent victims for their own ends. They don't give a shit. It's instilled up here in, like, the silly, small minute brain cap capacity that, oh, I don't care. Caring doesn't come into it. Sociopaths, psychopaths. I mean, the law, well, they must know that if they get caught, they're going to get bloody executed. But they still go out and do it, don't they? So, hmm, is toughening up the law the real answer? I don't know. Well, if you've got any comments, leave them down there. But, um, I think I'll head off now, Hammerheads, because um, I seem to be going off in silly little tangents. Goodbye, Hammerheads. <laughs>